All right. Hello, Hello, everybody. Hey. Hello, everybody. I am Danny. And I'm Wanda. And I'm Amanda from Freedom Makers. And we're from Deep South Homestead. And we are here today to discuss, <laughs> does love make a difference? While we're eating lunch. While we're eating lunch. Yes. Yes, we all have our plates of food here. Yes. And the camera is very high in the back, but we're going to get by just fine. You need me to move it? Uh, Maybe. You just talk. It's hard to read the comments. And no, 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 no. Don't touch that. Touch the, touch just... the wheel that turns it down. There you go. Come on down. Abajo, abajo. Talk to people. Um, no way. I'm, I, anyway, guys, I, I mean, oh, that's far enough. Uh, hello, Shay and Gypsy Woman. Oh, I love that name, Gypsy Woman. It reminds me of a song. Gypsy Sue Woman. and co yeah. Country Homestead Preacher yeah. and Valerie and Reuben. Reuben. Okay, so. Howdy, y'all. You know, they're from the South. <laughs> yeah. Southwest Texas. Yes. Yay. All right. Another from Texas native. All mm -hmm. these Texas people in the country homestead preacher. And I'm going to bet that that's Jennifer. I would say so. Yes. But it may not be. May not be. Maybe Donnie. I okay. don't know. So on my plate, I have red ripper peas. I got to wait. I have greens. These are This is kale, right? This is mm -hmm. kale. From 2015. 15. It was a good year. It was and a good was year. Very yeah. good. It was really yummy. This was from some of our jars. And this is potato salad that I made from canned potatoes and our canned pickle relish and our homemade eggs, our homegrown eggs. I didn't make them, but the chickens did. Okay. <laughs> and then we have baked chicken. Now, the chicken's the only exception to I didn't grill it. Ah. But we're working on it. Okay. We have, we have a surprise coming this week, don't we? Yeah. Yes. Yes, or man. next week, one next of the Next week or whatever. Uh, let's see. I see one from the Homestead picture says, and Annabeth. Okay. So I'm guessing it was Jennifer. Okay, what you got? Adrian oh. says that the rain from the hurricane has passed their area, but looking forward to highs in the 70s. Mm. Ooh. That's so that's nice. what it's going to be like here tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a Lori family. The Lori. Hello from Mazas, Hi, Mississippi. <laughs> okay. What's left of mine, while they were getting ready to do this, I have the green beans, baked chicken, homemade potato salad with homemade relish in it, kale. Everything here is from our place except the chicken, I'm supposing. Mm -hmm. And I have the red ripper peas. I have the kale, which was really, really yummy. Chicken and applesauce. <sighs> we it's have not deep south, south applesauce. It's plastic. Yeah, oh. well, we had some from like we were on the road, and so yeah. like it just sounded good. So yeah, and we yeah. have applesauce. We just hadn't opened in because she had the plastic stuff. Right. Yeah. Figure I use it first. Okay. So you want to explain the love makes a difference, or do you want me to start? You, with you'd it. probably be better off than I will. Okay. Last week we started the carrot bed, and. Uh, Amanda and I did one carrot bed. Danny did the other. And Danny was the pro gardener. Perfect in all ways. Just saying. Not giving you a big head, but it was no. pretty good. Oh, that's got to be Heidi. It's Heidi. I can tell now it's Heidi. Yes. Okay. And so Amanda and I did the love thing. We put a lot of love in our garden. So we want to know will love make a difference. So today... You're gonna have to scroll up to find pictures of the. Dog. I got to do the end. I, they gonna they, they put me in the middle here so that I have to do all of the uh, um, video, the work with the pictures. Okay, you got two of these. Oh, which one start with the first one. Up did, here? No. Well, it, down at the bottom probably. Is that number one or is that one Should more before be. that? Let's check and see. Okay. Yeah, start there. We just okay. have to wing it with pictures. I'm not sure what order they're in. Okay, here we go. <gasps> okay, y'all know what this is? This is our carrot bed. This is, you explain it, your, your carrot bed. You yes, this is this is mine and Amanda's carrot bed. And we do have little bitty carrots. It's probably going to be hard to see in most of these pictures, but both beds had carrots up. Danny's had more up, even though we can't really show that really well yet. That's not what this picture is. That's but not. this picture shows we only had a small area in the 
corner of our bed that had ants in it. So this is an ant hill in mine and Amanda's bed. Now I don't know that I got Danny's bed, but one whole end of Danny's is covered in ants. That's what happens when you put covering down on the ground in the deep south. We try to tell people, everybody's like, oh, you need to do layer gardening. You need to do this. You need to do that. When you lay anything on the ground, like cardboard, plastic, uh, house wrap, whatever it is, lumber, and it heats that ground up, fire ants is going to come. Uh, going to come to it, and they're going to make a bed. So we had to uncover it. Now, you want one more of the love carrots? Um, Living Traditions Homestead popped in making, what is that, sriracha? While we're, while they're, while we're eating. While they're watching us eat our lunch. Yes. So I was talking to Kevin and Sarah earlier. So okay. Now, we're going to look at the love carrots again? Yes, let's go again. Okay. See, Whoa, I the... did get a picture of some carrots coming up. No, oh, you can't sleep through our okay. carrots. Now, giving Danny credit, he has more carrots that you can see. We had some. He had more. But it's really hard, hard to get the pictures yet. Next week will be the tail. We'll yeah. see if we can okay. see. But you guys, if you if you planted when we did, six days and check it. Okay. Uh, it took six days, Leo. Okay, this is my bed. Now, if you look very, very close in my bed, you can see the other end. Um, you, let me count it here: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I see eight rows in that garden. And if you look really close, and if you want to blow it up a little bit, you will see that there's a steady rows of carrots in every one of those. They're just not quite big enough to see. And if you look all the way to the end of that bed, you'll notice. It's nothing but fire ants. They have taken over the whole end of the bed. And then we have... That's your bed, too. That's my bed. There was actually a piece of a sweet potato left in my bed. But if you'll look to the right of that sweet potato, you'll see a little yellowish-looking thing. That is the baby carrots beginning to come up in the rows. Um, one that just went camera happy taking pictures of the little sweet potato plant. Yes, because he's growing carrots, but he's growing sweet potatoes. Yeah, it is what it is. Okay, so is there more? That's for you, Heidi. <laughs> is there any more? Oh, I don't know. I think so. You, you think so? Mm -hmm. When do you remove the plastic? Oh, I didn't I didn't put in video. We have some video of all this. We've removed the plastic on the sixth day. If the carrots are sprouting, if they're not sprouting, we wait until they do sprout. And when they sprout, we take the, carrot, the plastic off. Usually seven to nine days. Now, here we have... If y'all can't tell, this is the bottom half of Ms. Amanda and Chloe standing there. She is misting her bed because their carrot bed seems to dry just a little bit more um, than mine did. Oh, sunshine. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I got my names wrong. Uh, and uh, there, she's misting it um, with the sprayer there because if you put too much water too fast on them carrots and they're just like little tiny hairs, then what happens is you beat them down in the ground and they don't do good at all. Uh, so Amanda is misting hers now. Her side. Her side. And if you look real close in this picture, you have to look There's really close. There's little teeny green specks. Yeah, those of you who are on a big screen, you might be able to pull this up where you can actually see it just a little bit better. <laughs> um, We're just proud of our carrots. We are. Ours you know, are more sporadic. Somehow or other, mine got lost in the mix. Some of um, them are Danny's, some of them are ours. I forgot which one it was which. Well, our bed is more sporadic. But it's a loving bed. It's happy. It, we were very excited when we planted. So Yeah, there was a little bit more of this going on when they were spreading Danny's seeds. Danny's like very meticulous. I was very meticulously just, just going along, just kind of like plumping little seeds along, you know. He's like, Amanda, I was standing there just kind of shaking. We were talking, and we were happy. And so I was just kind of shaking. He's like, Amanda, move your arm along. <laughs> yeah, there's one patch that's going to have a lot. Yeah. So six to, six to nine days, you remove the plastic or the house wrap or whatever you put in there. Is there any more pictures there? No yes, more of those. No more of those. Okay, so we're through with the carrots. We probably will have a video of some sort or it'll be a part of a vlog or something showing what we did opening it. Yeah, that was fun.
So you almost can't get rid of fire ants. I did cannot. a whole series on my channel a couple years ago, and it was you, you can't get rid of. I tried everything. We did cinnamon, de, cayenne pepper, grits, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Not fire ants. You can get rid of regular ants with a lot of those methods, but not fire ants. We even tried they boiling water. The <laughs> yeah. We, we did the boiling everything. water trick. Does it work? I mean, you kill some fire ants, but I went out last year and put water in a hole and put the hose in it, and the water never came to the surface. Mm -hmm. And I sat there for five minutes with the hose yeah. on, and it never and came to the surface. So that tells you where the the water was going down in that ant bed yeah. somewhere. Yeah, it was going down in the bed. Uh, yeah, so there's no getting rid of the fire ants. You guys can just forget that. But there is one thing I can tell you that will get rid of a bed. And it's called gasoline. Mm, that's a little sketchy. You can yeah. punch a hole down in the middle of that bed. Sometimes they go five or six feet deep, but you can punch it and then just pour gas down in it. And it may take half a gallon. But I've heard people say that it like pops up in other places if the tunnels are connected. Well, they will, but that bed will not come back. Well, it may not come back, but you might light your house on fire. No, 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 no. That's not the, the ant beds over there. There's one uh, over here and they're connected. Mm. How many do you there. think you will grow to maturity? I think most all of them will, Especially except for in the except for bed. except for theirs now <laughs> because theirs is going to have to be thinned out. So you won't have to. Uh, a lot of yours won't make it to maturity. Yours Thin will be what carrots. they call baby carrots, and you'll eat them in like salads and stuff like That's that. Be delicious. They'll be delicious. Yeah. Yeah, Mandy. That's what I just <laughs> said. Yeah, you can get rid of fire ants with gasoline, gasoline and a light. That makes me nervous. Yeah, I've done it. Uh, Watch your bed goes boom. Like this, kind of makes a boom. Yeah, I'm sure it does. It does. It works really. It works when you do yellow jackets the same way, too. Mm. Um, Danny, is that hand seeder easier than just using your fingers? It is for me because it, the hand seeder has like five different size little holes in it. Some of them are tiny, a little bit bigger, and a little bit bigger. It almost sounds like that Christmas thing with the magic dust for Santa Claus. I mean, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, the cedar thing works what works wonders for me. I really like it. I really right. like it too. I'd never use one. I'll tell you what will work just as good if you're planting your carrots on head, like say maybe 16 to 18 inches wide, is to take a little tuna can, looks like got one inch sides on it, empty it out completely and wash it good, take you a nail and punch little tiny holes all in the bottom of it that's just big enough for the seeds to fall through and then fill it up with seeds and just go along there and kind of just shake it back and forth like that over the row. Yeah. And that spreads them pretty evenly for those who don't want to spend the money. Yeah. You know, it, it works. Works in a pinch. Yeah. Um, now, Wanda has went off and left me and Amanda here to entertain you guys. So, what are we going to do to entertain them? <laughs> do you want to sing a song? <laughs> you know, sing, sing a song. No, no, I'm coming. Oh, I'm she's coming. coming. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this okay, is so hold funny. on. Okay. Hold it that way so I know hold which one's which. Okay. Ooh, y'all look at that. Can y'all see that? Sweet potato something. Okay, I gotta figure it out now. Sweet yeah. potato pie. Yeah, I haven't moved it. Okay, like this? Okay. Like that, that way. Okay. <laughs> Just because. What has been experimenting? Wanda has, is doing experiments with me and Amanda. It's okay. I wonder we don't have three eyes and four ears. Y'all y'all see what I have. I have to show them mine first. Where, oh. where's, where's mine? Of course. Wanda can't stick with the sweet potato. <laughs> no, the sweet potato is good. I just tested it. It's good. Okay, this is mine. It is a gluten-free angel food cake with our canned blueberries, and then I mixed in cream cheese and sweetened condensed milk and dribbled it all over it. Doesn't that sound good? See, it looks good. We're being tempted behind the screen, guys. I'm just showing them what it looks like. So my blueberry dessert is going to be awesome. But they have a taste test. They do not know that I made which one is which. I made two different sweet potato desserts. I only changed one ingredient. Okay. And I want to know if they which one they like, which one they prefer. Uh, one of them has some just regular sugar in it. One of them has cane syrup in it. Ah. Mm. Okay. So I want to know if I can tell. If you can tell, number one, and which one tell. you prefer. Okay. Can I? Yeah. Can I go? Okay. Danny's still eating. He's still slow. Still eating. He's slow. I'm a little. I was going to knock him to it. I'm 
Okay, what do you think? It's good. Based on taster, I think I can tell which is which. Mm -hmm. So do you realize the difference? This one's the cane. This one's the honey. I didn't do honey. You said honey. Sugar and... Sugar. Okay, this is cane for sure. This one's You can one. tell the difference? Yes, this is definitely cane. Okay. Which one of the texture is better? Um, This one. The it's sugar? Smoother. Yeah, it's smoother. Okay. This, the sugar one is smoother. Um, yours may be backwards, so I don't know which one is yours. I do. But this one's definitely the cane on my plate. I know which one's which. I use cane syrup at home. Um, you guys gave me a pint, and I used it to death. Oh, well. <laughs> it, was, it was the best ever. And, so yeah. So we're making cane well, syrup tomorrow. We'll be making cane syrup tomorrow, the so Lord willing. She's going to get to take some home today. that she helped make. So we're going to be making some. We've been doing cane stuff. Okay, so now you taste test it. Let's see what you got. Going my time. On. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go with the left-hand side. For, maybe y'all's right-hand side. My left-hand side. Okay. God, it's so good though. You gotta eat the other one too. I know, but I've just gotta I gotta You gotta process. I gotta process that moment because it's so good. I know. And guys, I've been leaving the sugar out. This is my sweet potato I mean not sugar out, leaving the flour, flour out. out. Just because uh, I'm trying to cut back on flour because almond flour is really, really expensive. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting it out of this and seeing if it works. And he actually likes it better. No, one is not a Cherokee tan pumpkin. They're both no. actually sweet potato. Just one has sugar and one has cane syrup. So what do you think? Which one do you like the best? Gosh, they're so close. Mm -mm. Mine is. You can't tell. Mm -mm. This one tastes like just sugar. And this one tastes like cane syrup. But you I mean, got it right. But they're, God, they're both so good. Why would you want to choose? I like this I'm one. just asking. Oh, man. Pia says she would be able to tell she likes the cane syrup. Okay. Yes, Pia got some, and she's been using it for the last year on different things. And she sends me messages off and on about the cane syrup. So we make. Mm. That's really good. My stuff's really good too. I'm sorry. I kind of feel bad because like y'all aren't getting you any. Can't smell it or taste it. You can't anything. smell it. You can't taste it's really it. I'm good. so I feel like sorry. Well, so I, mean, I hope you guys are having an awesome lunch. Yeah, I hope y'all I mean, are. I hope you're having something yummy at home. Uh, and we have have more pictures now. Let me go to. Okay, I got to take that one off because. Oh, no, 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 no. that's your camera. Nope, not that one. I think you just took it off. Did I? that one back this one back okay <laughs> this one I, I happened to catch this picture just because Ooh, look, at that kung, that. look at that kung fu move That's sunshine was out with danny they were feeding the uh, pigs she doing? and she was coming back toward the house and she just as i snapped the picture she kind of jumped up in the air and i didn't know if i caught it or not but i did i thought it was pretty cool she's um, practicing ballet so I'll jump in the air and do a spin already. Okay, here's them it's when they were right. at the pig pen. Oh. So She's I caught been them. Danny's little shadow. <laughs> she has. Me and her have been riding on the tractor. Mm -hmm. We've been to check the traps. Oh. We actually caught a squirrel in the trap. Get this, y'all. He's teaching my daughter how to drive. She's only four. She's four, and I'm letting her drive. Yes. She's old enough. <laughs> she has you to stand so. up, but it's your tractor. <laughs> I know. She has to stand up, but it's okay. She's done a fantastic job. We have not tore down anything yet. Tell them about yesterday, though. The trap. Oh, yeah. We went to check the trap because I have I've traps set all the time. And when we got over there, a poor little squirrel had got caught in my little live trap. And he was going ballistic. He was going around, around, around inside it. And Chloe was having a blast. She said he was so handsome. I don't know where that comes from, but... <laughs> she didn't she didn't know the word squirrel. She told me he was wild and handsome. She, she said he was wild, wild and handsome. And, handsome. and she says Whatever he's a means. chipmunk. <laughs> you know? And she did her little cheeks out. She was like she like Yeah, she's talking about, Oh, we have a chipmunk in the trap. <laughs> and I told her, I said, Well, 
we have to let him go, you know, because we were after raccoons. And mm -hmm. I told her, I said, you have to stand beside me now because when I open the door, he's going to run right over your leg if you don't. And she stood by me. And as soon as I opened the door, he ran right across our feet and ran right up in the tree right beside us and went about 10 feet up the tree and just sit there and looked at us. It was, just, was quite an experience. It was her. quite an experience for her. <laughs> yeah. Plus, we checked the deer, the deer cameras. Mm -hmm. We uh, checked the corn. Mm -hmm. She come back with me and she looked at the card, the SD card. We looked at the de deer. We had some 645 pictures, I think it was, of deer. Mm -hmm. uh, so she enjoyed, you know, watching the deer and stuff. And now, if I get on the tractor to go anywhere, we took the garbage up the road this morning mm -hmm. to the blacktop. She wanted to go up there. Can I go with you? She's mm -hmm. always I like, I want to go with you. So we moved our syrup cooking uh, pans. pans out here to be the cooking syrup. Syrup tomorrow, she had to ride with that. Yep. We went to cut sugar cane. She had to ride with that. <laughs> now, so. Deborah said they're in Edgeville, South Carolina. She had no damage. She only lost power about an hour, but she was prepared. Great. So, you go, girl. That's pretty awesome. I know some people are ha having lots of damage. I've seen a lot of pictures hey, of a lot of damage. Hey, Jen. Um, we have. A lot of our subs are in Georgia, well, Florida, Florida, Florida Georgia, Georgia, even South Carolina and stuff that are happening. Alabama. Even Alabama was having some damage, I believe. Mississippi, we were fine and dandy. Um, we got, oh, we have the cane pitcher. Oh, yeah. The only problem we had was we had a cold front, if you can call it cold. It was cold. Oh, you're going too far. Down. That one. Here we had is. more cane down. This uh, is just one end of it where the wind hit. Uh, on the other side of the left side, there's more cane down. So Danny's going to be getting that, and we're processing it tomorrow. Anything that's down, you want to tell them why? Or did you tell them in a video? Did we do a video on that? About what? The cane being down. We did, didn't we? Yes. Uh, yeah, I shot that. We okay. shot that video today. Um, but, but this is the bottom line, guys. If you want sugarcane, go to our Etsy store, deepsouthhomestead.etsy.com. There is sugarcane up for sale, and if it's not up for sale, we will be adding it daily because we've got so much of it. We're trying to help people get sugarcane on their homesteads, too. Um, it's for sale there. Check yeah. it out. Or if you know it's somebody who's looking for it. It's probably not up right now. I'm going to have to I think we, add. Sold, we sell it as fast as it does. <laughs> Can you believe this? Anyway. Freeze. Freeze. I got it Okay. What's your last bite? Which one? Which one's my last Which bite? Which one did you say for your last bite? The sugar. Sugar. Really? Yeah. I hey. couldn't help it. I ate the, I ate the syrup my first. Mm. I was a glutton for it. I couldn't I help it. I saved it for my last bite. <laughs> that was the winner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You think the cane syrup? Mm. Definitely. Okay. What did you think? Oh, I love the cane syrup. The okay. Cane so syrup. see that? So that good. gets me down to I can use my sweet potatoes that I can. Oh. I can use my cane syrup that we make, our homemade so eggs. <sighs> that was good. Um, what else did I put in it? I don't know. I didn't egg? cook it. Did you do egg? Ho our homemade, homemade eggs. Our our homemade eggs. Our homemade eggs. Our home we make eggs. eggs. Our home <laughs> we make eggs. <laughs> we make eggs. <laughs> I've got something that makes eggs. Deal. I have an egg maker. You have an, an egg, egg maker. maker. <laughs> Matter of fact, we have about what, 14 to 15 of them out there, don't we? At, ooh, 16, 18. 18 egg makers. We have 18 egg makers. So, if you want to know where to buy an egg maker, just contact us. We'll tell you where you can purchase your own egg maker. Yes, <laughs> they're right readily available everywhere. Yeah, Hardly matter of fact, we're fixing to uh, we're fixing Wait, to buy no, no. fifty more, ain't we? Okay, never mind. You just give the video. No, no, no. And you just give my. No, video. I didn't. I not said yet. we're talking about egg makers. Okay. No, we're not making egg makers. We're not buying egg makers. No, we're not. No, oh, I'm okay. going to salvage this. It was really cute last night. Sunshine wanted to go for a walk. So we went outside. It's a beautiful day. And she gets <laughs> over to the, the chickens. And I'm like, hey, let's see if Wanda got all the eggs today. And she was like, okay. So we peeked in there. And there's one for each hand. So she carries in two eggs. And she shows them to Wanda. I got some of your eggs. Now, we, we do eggs at home. But it's not nearly as exciting because they weren't Wanda's. So she doesn't get Wanda's eggs. Yeah, and that was really exciting for her. So she was like, I got two eggs. When you gather one of those eggs, it's always <laughs> different. Jen says she wants to get an egg maker on Amazon. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure you could buy them. I don't think Amazon, Amazon carries egg makers. You sure? You don't think? Maybe. I, I, don't, don't, know. Know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to Google that. 
So I'm not sure, but we've got some egg makers, and we're going to have egg makers from now. We're going to have some milk makers, too. We do. We have milk makers. We're hoping. We're hoping. Yeah. We will know in a couple of weeks yeah. whether our cow is pregnant. We will know in three weeks whether at least one, if not two, of our goats are pregnant. All right. So, I mean, we could go get tests. Y'all, did y'all know they make tests for that? Yep. Really? For animals? I mean, I guess it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense. But I'm just not going to follow one around and they pee on the strip. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you sure? I'm not, not either. Be so, might uh, be that might be video. an interesting video. <laughs> I'll assure you. Yeah. But uh, anyway. Look at the vegan doll says they've been sitting in a winter wonderland for four days. Not no. even a, not even a peak of sunshine. Said it's been snowy. Not exactly oh, cane country. She said. Not exactly cane country. I was really hoping we'd have a fire longer here, but it came too early. No, it's we might be. have a fire. We should wait until November. Really? You really think so? Be fifty-three. <gasps> I'm going to be so excited. I love it. We'll leave all the windows open all night in the house. It's so cold. <laughs> Let's, we'll do that. Let's do it. Let's, Let's do it. Let's do it. That's like a Nike commercial. We'll, we'll just do it. <laughs> we'll make it happen. Okay. I done told him to leave. Yay. Now, Red Duchess says they had. They AI'd their milk cow this morning. Well, we don't have the luxury of AI. We have a bull. He has the luxury of AI. <laughs> if he does what he's if supposed to. he does to. what he's supposed to do. They're not happy with their new field of moving in this morning. Are you serious? No, they're going to stand the gate moving all morning. They've got this whole really? huge, beautiful area, and they're standing at the gate. I think they're just... Our, our animals know. are spoiled. Our animals are so spoiled, they want you to hand feed them everything. I mean, well, how did that happen? Well, the Bible says a good a good shepherd looks well to his flock. So. Okay, but I'm thinking that doesn't mean they spoil them. You don't I hand have... feed them all the time. I do mine. And guess what? They don't want to go. And now they don't the want to go great. I know I spoon feed them. You're a stinker. I'm always saying that in the live chat. I'm always popping it. You're a stinker. You're a yeah, stinker. I'm I get to say it. She gets to say it personally. On the time. live stream. Mm -hmm. On a live stinker. stream. <gasps> That's exactly how I say it in my head. You're a stinker. Um, yeah. We put the goats over there and they have all these weeds and all these things that they can eat. They eat, what, five minutes? Yeah. And then they're back at the gate hollering, wanting to go to the barn. We put the cows over there. Did they even go eat? Did they? Yeah, they went over to the other side. They had that uh, Argentina bahia grass over there. They ate on it for just a few minutes, but then they just come back to the gate and just sit there and move. Well, they're just going to have to get over it. No, I'm going to leave them all day. They're going to, you know. Yeah. Like a spoiled child. I went to put, put them fresh water. I thought maybe that's what it was, but it wasn't that. Well, yesterday, Sunshine was spoiling the, well, Sunshine and Nanny were spoiling the. Oh, goats. yeah, with banana leaves. Yeah. She's like, can you cut another one? And she, like, sticks it through the fence. We ought to get a clip of that. Mm -hmm. That was really cute. Yeah. Can I get another one? And he takes like... his pocket knife, cuts her off another one. She stands there. Yeah, our goats love Last banana thing. leaves. I gave them, like, ten banana leaves. I thought, no, they I really love it. I thought I said, look at their bellies. They were all swelled out. I said, look like they're pregnant. It was like she was fishing. Cause they're Time to yeah. so Turkey tans are still producing. We have had numerous, numerous people yeah. send us pictures where they're getting, one person got like 30 or 40 off five plants or 50 off, 50 five, off plants. five plants. Yeah. And uh, I'm telling you guys, when you get these seeds from us, these Cherokee tan seeds, these are probably some of the most uh, sustainable pumpkins that you can grow. Hi, Brandy. So yeah, they're really good. Homestead Hippie, it's damp in the desert. Hmm. Yeah, I think they were supposed to be getting a hurricane through out there, wasn't it? A tropical storm or something? That's crazy. Yeah. Danny's just got to watch how he prays for her. He prays and she. Well, gets I get. I mean, people ask me to pray. You pray for rain. I and told she you I have a direct connection there, and then he prays for rain again, just a normal rain, and she gets a hurricane. So you know, we yeah. just got to really dial it back a little. Yeah, dial it back. Tone it back just a little bit. Yeah. There. Um, yeah. So. What else do we have going on before we... Daddy and I have got a lot to do today. we got to go cut sugar oh, cane. I canned sweet potatoes yesterday. Mm -hmm. You did. I didn't write that down either. i got to write, I gotta write down too. I don't know about y'all, but I'm still excited about the pantry. Isn't yes. that pretty, y'all? It's beautiful. What did y'all think of a pantry? It was beautiful. It is gorgeous. I love it. Danny did a good I'm job. I'm really envious. <laughs> I don't have a pantry like that. It's beautiful. Yeah, we did up, no up and rack. down stairs. How many times one day? Oh, like I don't even know. Eight or ten. And we still have more to go. And we then still have to take more down. Yeah. Well, Heidi right. was here. Okay, we took, Heidi and I went down for I don't know several times, like six or eight times. Mm -hmm. And then the next day I went down for a while. And then Amanda been her grandmother. She came back. She helped me finish out to get the shelves done and mm -hmm. stuff down. 
we made the trip count. As we went down, we took stuff. As we came up, we brought stuff up. And I still have stuff to go down. Yeah. And I still have sweet well, potatoes have in the floor. Mm -hmm. And we're we'll working to get my, my can. Can we have a good here. rainy day? Like in this can. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I've got a can <laughs> butter. Oh, yeah, we got yeah, we, we, we got a bunch of butter in a can. Yeah, we, got, we need a good rainy day. So when well, I we got to power wash the deck off as soon as this is over. I got to get up mm -hmm. on the roof and blow the leaves off. Then we got to power wash the deck. They're asking me to yeah. lend Danny out. If y'all have enough <laughs> money and y'all pay for the trip the to wherever problem. you're at, <laughs> pay him to that. build it, and thing. all then we're good. <laughs> Brenda, uh, Deborah, Deborah still says, good. still getting yeah. her bell peppers. My greens are all looking good. High 80s and humid. 25 tomato plants in the greenhouse. First time having a greenhouse. And I know, Deborah, you will love it. Yeah, we're working toward our greenhouse. Is it st everything still going? I haven't been out there in a week. Yeah, everything's up about yay high. I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, slow because it's so hot. It's so hot. And plus, I think we're going to have to pick up on the uh, shade cloth a little bit. Everybody keeps talking about the stink bug infestation. Guys, if you want to know about bug infestations, go look up DARPA okay. and see what's going on with DARPA, and you will understand why the bug infestation is as bad as it is. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. That's it. Time to Sew had a really good idea that I had mentioned yesterday. You need to get those plans up on Etsy. Other, mom, other women want those plans. Their husbands gonna other have. husbands are going to really yeah. hate you. So I know it. That's why I'm love. trying to be. I'm trying to not do this. You're gonna write them down. And I'm gonna put them on Etsy. You're gonna sketch them out. You should do it. People want them. Yes. Yes. He really thinks the husbands are gonna hate him for this, but uh, I think the wives are gonna really, really love you, even though the husbands may not like the to-do list. But if you have plans, see, they can buy the plans. I didn't see that, but it's so expensive. To do what? To build that pantry. If their husbands love their wives like you love me, they would build that pantry for their wives because they really don't. You ladies really, I am really want to. Guys, I am not touching that. <laughs> I'm not touching that. I think so. It's it's a I'm gonna call it a love pantry. <laughs> Everything's gonna turn into love. I can see we're going there. <laughs> don't y'all think that would be? Just a fabulous title, a love pantry, because it is gorgeous. All my jars in there are either 17, 16, or 15, with the exception of about three or four things that we only can this year. I mean, we canned them, but we done ate everything from it. previous years. So everything is older, and it still is holding its color. Oh, explain the doors. So many people okay. have asked about First the doors. Of all, I don't want David's question to get past me, okay. because it took me a while to read that and actually understand it. <laughs> How long will the same syrup, cane syrup last once? Jared. <laughs> and I kept seeing Jared. I'm like, what does Jared have to do with this? But it's jarred. It's jarred. There's an R missing. <laughs> okay. Um, it will last indefinitely. It will, uh, as long as the lid on it stays sealed, uh, it will last indefinitely. But once um, they open it. Once you open it, you need to put it in the refrigerator. Because it is sugar and it uh, does have a lot of sweetener in it, and it will go bad eventually if you open it. But now, if it turns to sugar, it's just like honey. You can put it in a jar in something warm water and heat it back up, and it'll go back to a liquid form, and it's and it's okay. Yeah. Um, because and by the way, guys, Amanda had to step out because she's got to leave. She's got to be somewhere in a few minutes, so um, that's why yeah. she disappeared on us. And um. Okay, so there was one other thing I forgot what it was, where I was going with it. Oh, with the sugar cane, please put it in the refrigerator because yeah. we had a, one person I know of, maybe two, that uh, left it sitting out. Yeah, and it, and it did, will mold. It will mold. Yeah. So it's not like... It's not like honey. Honey. Honey doesn't mold. Right. But sugar cane will. So that's why we say when you open it, Refrigerate it. Now, some people live in cold enough area and don't keep their house hot. It might not, but yeah. I wouldn't chance it. It's too expensive when you purchase it to to let it do that way. Do you buy the cream from the store or buy local from a dairy? Uh, we do not. 
buy cream? We don't buy cream. Uh, uh, if I do, it's just... Uh, we, do we go to a local dairy if we yeah, had we to had, have it. I've done that a couple of times. A couple times. of times, but that's been it. We wanted to make butter one time. And cheese. And cheese. And we but, went and bought some local milk and cream. Yeah, but right now it's, it's just as beneficial for me to go buy butter already done. And what I do is I can it. And that way I have it for a longer period of time so it doesn't take up freezer space. And I have stored it in the freezer for up to a year. And so we're trying to keep the freezer down some because we really, really want a deer. And you got to explain that one too, but go back to the shelves. Explain the doors. We've had so many comments about the doors. Yeah, lots of people want to just look at the jars uh, because it's beautiful. I, I, I have to give it that. It, it does look beautiful. Seeing all the vibrant colors and uh, the greens and the reds and the yellows and the you know the dark purples and all these kind of colors, it is beautiful to look at. But guys, the bottom line is this: you do not need sunlight getting to your canned stuff. Now that canned stuff is over how many years old? Some of it is up to two thousand. No, most five years of it. Old. Most of it's only two to three. I've got a few jars that is up to five years old. Yeah. And it still looks good, still is good. We're still eating it. Um, but that's because it's been in a completely black environment where light never hits it unless we turn a light bulb on. Uh, it being exposed to the light out here like this, uh, the UV rays will discolor. Now, the food's still good, but it discolors it. So we are going to put doors on it. Yes. It just figuring out exactly what kind. And somebody said leave them where you can see through them. But if I do that then we still get light to my jars. Yeah. So I've got to figure out if they make something where I can see in, but yet it prevents light from going in, or if we're just going to do solid doors. It probably will be way, way cheaper for solid doors. Uh, your Oklahoma rocks. Uh, only the opened cane syrup needs to be put in the refrigerator. If it's not opened, you can leave it sitting in the pantry. Yeah, and I keep all our cane syrup in the house, in the pantry. I do not take it down to the cellar. Uh, I could have. Now, I didn't have it on this new pantry shelf. We have a pantry in the um, utility room. Yes, we have a big pantry in the utility yeah, room. And I keep, uh, think, I, well, I was keeping things like meat, butter, the lard, and uh, the cane syrup in that pantry. But we're moving a lot of it to the new pantry, and that frees up for freeze-dried food, uh, not freeze-dried, dehydrated foods and things like that in the old pantry. Jen, we are talking about actually doing that with our dining room windows because our dining room is a Victorian style dining room, which you've seen. It has the three big four foot by six foot windows that are octagon, as an uh, has a bay window look to it that lets tons of light into our uh, dining room. It may be possible that we shade those windows but we can't shade the if we put glass in the doors of the pantry we can't do it because if we put the shade on it, it would prevent the light from getting in then you couldn't see the can stuff and you might as well put wood over it then okay now vegan dolls is asking about is there anything in particular we use the cane syrup for um over the last couple of years um danny uses it as a syrup uh, like the sweet potato stuff, I just used it as a sweetener in desserts. I've used it in a, as a sweetener in my coffee. It just takes a while to get used to the cane syrup in my coffee because I am a avid French vanilla person. And there's a huge difference between French vanilla and cane syrup. Okay, I need to answer a few questions. What else do we use cane syrup for? Um, Pretty much that's right we now use just it for, use well, it for sweeteners. Uh, it's the blessing says, can you make pecan pies from cane syrup? It's funny you would say that because yes. Miss Amanda from uh, Freedom Makers made awesome. us a, a pecan pie with a gluten-free crust mm -hmm. uh, with a cane syrup interior part of it. Instead of using zero, she used the cane syrup, put the pecans with a crust on top of it that was... Awesome. It was, no, she didn't put a crust. The pecans made the crust. Oh, did the pecans make the crust? Yeah, that's what a pecan pie does. But I mean, I thought it had a little bit of a thin crust on top no. of it. Okay, anyway, it was so good, guys. Danny just had a fit. I had a fit. I, I mean, 
pecan pies is one of my weaknesses. There's oh, oh Amanda yes. Amanda says there's going to be a video for that. It's on, already she already has one up. Oh, she already has it up. Yes. Okay, on Freedom Acres, go watch Freedom Acres, and you will see the video. Is, is it for called the, pecan pie? Okay, gluten free pecan, pecan pie from last November. She made it for Thanksgiving. So, guys, yes. if you want to see it, I'm telling you, it is awesome. Mouth watering. It's the best you can get. All right, Jen, I'm going to have to check into that because that was my thought is to put those on the windows where people can't see in, but we can still see yeah. out. That would protect it and I can not have doors exactly. Yeah. I would love that, but. I didn't want to take away from the windows because they're solid sheets of glass and I did not want to really cover them with curtains or anything else. Uh, Nadia says, once honey is opened, how long will it last? Honey lasts forever, opened or unopened. Say that again. Once honey is opened, how long does Honey lasts forever. Honey lasts forever. forever. It doesn't matter if you open it or not yeah. open it. And if the honey does turn to sugar, you can always heat it in some warm water. Don't boil it, but put it in some hot water. Let it sit there a while. Yeah. It will turn back to honey. You can use it. Uh, Mr. Tom from Deep South Bama, he said, while walking through the woods next to his property, he was looking for wild pecans. He came across what was an old homestead back in the 60s, and on the site was a large stand of sugar cane. Isn't that awesome? Wow. Nobody's been that, tending it? Wow. That's amazing because sugar cane, if it freezes, a lot of times will actually sour down to the roots and kill it. Um, it's amazing that it's actually uh, still there. Still there. Yeah. But obviously, every year some comes up. There's so been it just something keeps... coming back. Yeah. yeah. That's that's amazing. I mean, I would I would actually get me some of it to plant myself if it was me. And uh, Oki Rob said window tent might work to keep the UVs out. That's that's what we. That's kind of our about. thinking. Our thinking's along that line. Um. So we're we're just playing around before he goes building doors. And. Uh, somebody asked, was it Albany, that asked uh, cheap ideas to protect Cherokee tan pumpkin vines? You can buy a wedding tool. A uh, wedding tool will work. Uh, somebody was saying old sheets. Old sheets. Uh, this you know, ground cover stuff. That, yeah. You know, plant cover. Now, that is if it don't get too cold. Okay, Azalee says she made gluten-free, dairy-free pecan pie with no pecans. So how are you making a pecan pie with no pecans? People are aware it is pecans with the pecan nuts. Not sure. No okay, you'll have understand. to explain no that. I understand that one completely. All right, do you store your covered butter canned in the house? Canned butter. Oh, the canned. Yes, I store it in the house. Not in the cellar. Not in the cellar because... That's I, only because we don't want to go down and get it. I mean, that's... Yeah, I'm not really sure. I My thought was I was worried about the the meat, the butter, and the lard that we did being in the cellar. I wasn't sure if something, it would be too damp for it. I don't know. It's jarred, but I wasn't sure. So I have not taken any of that down. And we, we use the meat and the butter really quickly, so I would rather have it upstairs. Albany says, what's too cold? Uh, anything that's below freezing, like, say, maybe 30 or lower, I probably Cherokee would. Cherokee tans, though, would probably be 40. Uh, well, I mean, sometimes if it's laying close to the ground, the ground stays warm enough that it doesn't kill anything right at the ground. And if you put a covering over it, it actually has to be down below freezing to actually kill something. All right, are you going to have any rattlesnake beans for sale? Or do we just have enough? Uh, I might have a few packs. It won't be a lot. Um, I'm not sure. We'll just check on that. We just have keep a... watching our Etsy store and we will... Uh... Yeah. And if, that, if there's something like that specific, Nadia, uh, send me an email at deepsouthhomestead at gmail.com. If he doesn't have very many and he will sell some, we'll, we'll do yeah, it Yeah, just that send way. us an email. And we'll, that would be easier. That would be easier for us, and that way you would be insured of getting some. Because when I put it on Etsy, I don't know who gets what. Yeah, because, guys, I mean, it, it takes me a long time to go through seeds because I pick through my seeds. I handpick okay. all my seeds. I was figuring that's what Asling did. You can use oatmeal and make a pecanless pie. I have a recipe on that where you make a pecan pie with no pecans. And it is awesome. Danny loved it. I made it last year. I just yeah. haven't made it. I, 
we've been so busy till I just do what I got to do. I, I haven't had a chance to experiment a lot in the last three or four months, but I'm hoping once we get the sugar cane and the sweet potatoes and everything all done, I will have time to get back to my deep depression. Deep depression. Deep depression. <laughs> deep depression. Agony. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. my great depression and old, uh, old Tommy cooking and all that stuff getting, bring back some of those old recipes. I have a whole CD of stuff that um, uh, Sinclair sent. Sinclair sent me that. Jim from the Nut House sent me two old uh, cookbooks. And um, two or three different people have sent cookbooks that have some great recipes. I just like to flip them. So we're going to get back on that. It just may be yeah. um, cooler weather. Okay, Rob had a brought a very valid point there. When we talk about leaving honey out, we're talking about leaving it closed up so that moisture can't get in it. If you leave the lid off of anything, yes. especially in our humidity, mm -hmm. uh, moisture will get in it and honey, even honey will go bad. But I was actually talking about if you leave it closed up and don't allow moisture to get in it. Yes. Yeah, but that's a very valid point because a lot of people would think, oh, I can just leave it sitting out. No, that's... And, and you can't. And that was something we ran into with Dirt Patch when she got here. Yes. She was from Idaho. And in Idaho, she can sit things on her counter and go to bed at night and get back up the next day and pick it up and eat it. And it's still good. Yeah. And she did that here. She Something in a can. And she opened it and ate part of it and left it on the counter. And the next morning, she came in and she picked it up and started eating it. And I said, what are you doing? And she said, well, I'm just going to finish it. And I told her, I said, but it's been sitting out all night. Yeah. She said, so we leave it out all night. And I said, yeah, in Idaho where it's not humidity yeah. and heat and stuff yeah, like it stays, that. It stays yeah. cold. Yeah. yeah. So here we throw things away. You either put it in the refrigerator or you throw it away once okay. you open it. So I just want to open this up. Yeah, I need yes. that. Because I am about to go. Um, while I'm down here, I'm teaching essential oil classes and I'm I'm helping people with that so yeah it's very exciting if you guys are curious or want to know more about essential oils or how to use them yes or if you have a specific health concern or multiple health concerns that you'd like some insight on or some help with um i have seven years of experience with essential oils so hopefully i can help you with that plus she lives and in yes yes i use them all the time for she has to yeah. she is very allergic to a lot of things and she has she just medicine. has to yeah so she yeah, can help you of... with things like that and so I would like to be able another, there. I'll be down for another week. So get with Wanda and, and we can We can work chat. some yep. little chats yep. out. Um, so that's where I'm headed now. Okay. I'd like girl. to see, see you later. later. See you later. Bye-bye. We're going to Ryan. Okay. Bye-bye. Uh, I'd like to see a canning class on canning meats. Uh, I would like to get back and have a canning class, but and it should be on meats, but it'll probably be in the spring. Probably won't be anytime soon, yeah. or it might be in the mid winter. We'll see. Anybody remember the green apple pumpkin pie. pie? A little house on the prairie book that Charles thought was an apple pie. Uh, I had the little house on the prairie cookbook, and it might would have had that in it, but I, I gave it to a lady that was her kids were loving little house on the prairie so much, and they they just really wanted to know how to cook like them. So I let her have it so her kids could learn to cook like yeah. Little House on the Prairie. Okay. Have we missed anybody? Uh, I hope not. But if you if you we didn't answer, redo. Where was that at? Oh, another one. Uh, NKY Homesteading made a very good point too. Gluten intolerance really doesn't have that much to do with wheat. Mm -mm. It has more to do with glyphosate and the chemicals that was used in the harvesting of it and the growing of it. Yeah. It's more of a chemical intolerance than it is a gluten intolerance. That's what I found out in my body. I'm mm -hmm. learning real quick like that it's more of a chemical thing than it is necessarily a gluten thing. Okay, Frank Stump says he is in advanced North Carolina. And he is feeling the effects of Michael. It's a right tropical now. storm warning where he's at. And the power's already flickering. Well, stay with you while I can. Frank's wife. Okay, so it's not Frank. It's, it's his not, wife. It's his wife. Okay. Thank you for actually stopping in. Yes, and we are still praying we're for still everybody. still praying for all y'all. And I hate that you just got through with one hurricane and you got another tropical system dumping more water on it. Because so many people, 
really aren't pro getting their lives back in order from the last one. You know, it's uh, it's just Florence just messed up so much. And now you got Michael going right over the right over where that one went. So Nadia is wanting to know, can I do the class on my channel? Okay, so what I might do is I could go live and set things up in the kitchen and we could do a class. I might do a, um, if you wanted to sign up and I would do it as a private class and then the people that contacted me would be the only ones that see it because when I go live, I get really, really nervous if the whole world's watching. I'd like to know that I only have a few people sitting there watching and talking to me because I get nervous by myself. But if I was Canon, I could set the camera up where it's picking me up and I can talk. Yeah, you so, could do a private URL. And... Yeah, I might could do that. So if anybody's interested in a Canon class online in a private uh, YouTube live stream, let me know and we'll we'll go from there. I'll, I'll yeah. figure it out. It might be a couple of weeks or so. Because uh, Danny and I are planning on getting some meat shortly, so when I do that, yes, I would. I could. I could probably do that, even if there's only one person. Yeah. But I know I've had several asked about that, so we could do that live. Yeah. Oh. All right. So are we through? We gotta go pressure can. Uh, not pressure can. Pressure wash. Never mind. Pressure. There's a wash. lot of difference. <laughs> a lot of difference. I'm gonna tell you. Yo, my mind is just like. We got a lot of pressure canning to do, but we're not going to do it right now. First of all, we got to blow the leaves off the roof. Then yes. we got to start pressure washing. Yes. And I have peppers that need pickling. Yes, we got tons of peppers on those plants that they said I should snatch up out of the garden and throw away. I'm hoping to have a video sometime on we, that. We got a video coming up about that. So. Um, and I am actually pickling them now. Heidi Lori is doing sweet pickles. She's been doing like peppers. But she's using a sweet pickle recipe, and they are loving it. And the other day, I decided to make dill peppers. So I pickled those, and they are really tasting good. And to, probably tomorrow, because I'm helping Danny this afternoon, but tomorrow, I'm cutting up peppers. We're going to make even more dill peppers. Yeah. Pickle peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. I done told you he can't pick pickled peppers. This is true. And I don't know where that saying comes from. He had to pick peppers and then you have to pickle them. Then you have to pickle them after you pick them. You don't yeah. pick he pickled have... peppers. Hmm. That's interesting, isn't it? Yes. It really is. Um, put some of that arnica cream on your knees. See, Jen's telling you what to do, too. you got to listen to us later. Yeah, I know. I'm getting old, decrepit. The joints all ain't working like they're supposed to. Age Jen, is kicking in. Jen, we're ganging up on him. Yeah, her and Amanda's just, uh, I feel like, a, I don't know what I feel like. Uh, you feel like you're being doctored. I feel like I'm, uh... Ganged up on? Yeah, I'm, I don't know how to put it in words. Where it sounds appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we, we've been hounding him for about a week now on things for his health because he's very, very stubborn. There's Mr. Rusty. Um, so all his health issues, we're trying to narrow it down to what he can do and not do. That yeah. will, Because he is allergic to some things, and we're taking that into consideration. And he's just stubborn with the rest of the things. And we're taking that into consideration. Oh, uh, yeah. Deborah says, let the wind blow those leaves off. The wind's blowing outside, but the problem is the leaves are like a foot deep on top of my roof with acorns falling all in them. And I'm going to have to just <laughs> get up there and blow them off because the wind is just it's not working out. Yeah. Yeah, Jen, I am so abused. Um, Brandy said her and her husband went through that real too. Yep. Because it doesn't make sense. But no nursery rhyme makes sense. No, none of them do. And they're all, hor they're all horrible. Danny and I were thinking, we were picking at Heather Laurie one day about nursery rhymes. And Danny rattled one off and Heather goes, that is horrible. And he says, what do you mean? It's a nursery rhyme. You tell your kids. And so he started repeating it. And when he did, we both actually listened to it. Yeah. Okay, rock a -bye baby. The baby falls. I mean. The bow breaks. And the baby falls. And the baby falls. I mean, That's then, not good. Then the little lady lived in a shoe, had so many kids, she didn't know what to do. And then you go on and you read it and you go, 
Really? Really? It she, says that? She spanked them all, put them to bed, bed or something? Yeah. I don't remember. They weren't bed thing. and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, <laughs> it seems wow, horrible. 369, and, you know. And, and, yeah. We just, we we grew up here in these yeah, things. Yeah, Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. I mean, Jack jumped over a candlestick. I mean, it's all these things. And Jack and Jill went up a hill and Jack fell down and broke it. He broke something. I mean, you know. Yeah. I mean, you're sitting there, you tell your kids all these stories, these rhymes, and you're like, Everybody gets hurt. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Then he gets broke all to pieces. Yeah, Malcolm is in the same boat we are. I say I blow the deck off. And Malcolm, everybody has to know what I'm talking about. Because when somebody says something, I said, I blew the deck off today. I didn't really blow it up. I took a leaf blower and blew the leaves off the deck. And I know that's what he's talking about. Because you could go out on ours and do it three times a day and you'd still have leaves on it. That's how many trees we have around. Yeah, kids don't know nursery rhymes because of the cell phones. They ring around the rosies, pocket full of posies. Yeah, downstairs, downstairs. They all fall they down. They all fall down. If somebody falls, somebody gets, you know, they the, monkey, the 369 monkey on the line. I mean, the, monkey, the line broke, the monkey got choked. I mean, that is the, not good. I mean, all these things <laughs> we tell these babies, and they're all sitting there looking up at you like, Freaked out. They're freaking out because you're telling these horrible nursery rhymes. Little Miss Muppet. Yeah, sat on a tuffet. Along came a spider and sat down beside her. I mean, <laughs> the fairy tales are sanitized versions of Brothers Grimm. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Ring around the roses. Roses is about Black Death. That's right. I, I mean, mean, all of it was really not. Yeah, I mean, it's not. And then you take the one about. Um, Hush, little baby. Hush, little baby. You're gonna give them some. You're promoting giving this kid something, and you're. Constantly You're bribing them to be quiet. With more and with more, more and more, and more stuff. More. And if that barking bird don't sing, I'm gonna buy you a diamond ring. You know. You just keep on. Yeah. And bribery works. Bribery works. But you shouldn't yeah. do it all the time. Right. Because I bribed Sunshine while ago. <laughs> she was. She didn't want her hair washed, and I told her she'd go be good and have her hair washed. That she and I would make chocolate chip cookies after a while. And she decided she wanted sprinkles on her. So I agreed if she'd be good. And she was good. Yeah. Posies. What, what a treatment. treatment. <laughs> well, um, we've been on here for uh, over an hour now. They would be offended today and want to sue the writer. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. They have changed the nursery rhymes to be gentler for today's kids. Well, that's what I'm saying. Our kids nowadays are soft. They can't handle... Anything harsh. That's true. Everything's got to so, be politically correct. If anything harsh happens to these kids because they've been raised with a buffer, they're, they're mentally they're not going to handle it. Yeah. Even a lot of adults have been raised with Yeah, buffers. Malcolm says London Bridge. Remember London Bridge came falling down? Yeah. Falling down. Yeah. Falling oh, down. Now you got a bridge <laughs> falling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It really is. Okay. For pain relief. Copaiba. Frankincense, oregano with olive oil. Yeah, that's what Amanda's been trying to give me, the copaiba. He's bulking on her. Because he does have an issue with something similar, but in a... I do have a, I do have a receptor issue in my body. And not I, knowing we don't want to give him the not wrong knowing thing. Which receptor it is I'm having a problem with. That, that's the issue. Yeah. So yeah. he's he's bulking on that one right now. All right. Now, okay. we got to go get to work. we got to go get to work. Daylights are burning. Cool airs are going away. Yeah, we got cane to cut. The wind's blowing, so it'd be nice for right be now. Nice. At least we're in a partial shade right now, anyway. Yes, little bits of heaven. Hello. Um, so we appreciate all you guys popping yep. in. Um, love does make a difference, whether it's in cooking or our carrot bed, um, because Amanda and I still think we're gonna have some nice carrots. We really do. You'll probably have some decent carrots. I'm not gonna lie. But which one is going to be the best, we don't know. You guys will have to stay tuned because uh, it'll probably be next spring. But so far, both beds have carrots up. Very, very light up. By tomorrow, maybe by yeah, Saturday. By Saturday, they should be tell. good. Maybe on our Saturday, Saturday night live stream, we can show an update. Yeah, if not next week, we'll show you when we can see the carrots. Um, we'll just kind of, every so often, we'll try to show the carrot progress yeah so everything's better with love i just think so anyway i'm not gonna argue with that life is better with love right? life 
is better with uh, love, yeah. And let me tell you, there's an old saying that guys know, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> that is true. That's true. So take care, guys, and we will see y'all. Hey, living traditions. Yeah, they were in there. Oh, were they? I okay. spoke to them. You were ignoring me. Oh, was I? Yes. Okay. Guys, we'll see y'all later. See y'all later. Have a good day. Thanks for staying.